Hey, what's up everyone? More Ubisoft greatness. I was going to say a different word. Uh, this is, I, I'm just, there's so many games this year. I'm not, I just don't have time for a hundred hour game that's like all the other hundred hour games from the studio. Uh, but who knows? I don't know. May, uh, uh, maybe it'll be good. World trailer for Assassin's Creed Shadows. The League of Shadows. Anyway. So let's get to it. Of course, everybody was losing their mind because of uh, uh, Yasuke, is that his name? Uh, which I still want to watch that anime that came out for, uh, about him. Uh, about like if he was even real, I don't care. It's Assassin's Creed. Who gives a shit? Um, my problem with the game is that it just looks kind of generic. I mean, the gameplay looked all right. It was like, all right. But it looked very... I, it's just like when they kept showing the gameplay, it looked very uninspired. And, and, I mean, I don't want to say unfinished, because obviously the game wasn't finished, but, like, if you're going to show the game, don't make it look like it's not quite done yet, you know what I mean? Like, make whatever you're showing look finished, even if the rest of the game isn't, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I, I appreciate that Ubisoft nowadays is showing their games more of, like, how they should or will look when they first come out. They don't always do that, to be fair. And they do release some good games. I thought Prince of Persia this year was great. So, And I heard the other Prince of Persia, Ro the Rogue Prince of Persia. I heard that one's really good, too. So they released some bangers this year. Like, you know, they, they released some good... You know what? It, it really... I, I've noticed that it's only when they do linear games, I feel like, right? Because Avatar wasn't great. Star Wars Outlaws wasn't great. This one, we'll see. Um, what else came out? The Last Assassin's Creed game... Mirage, which is technically still open world, um, it's just not as big as this, uh, uh, was, I heard was like a seven, you know, it was fine, you know, maybe a seven and a half, um, but I feel like they're linear games, like, I mean, they re-released Beyond Good and Evil recently, so, I mean, I guess you can kind of say that's a, <laughs> you could kind of say that's a open world game, but not really, um, and believe me, I've played that game many times. It's one of my favorite. Oh, Skull and Bones. That was open world too, technically. <laughs> there you go. The current Motor Fest I heard was alright. I'm looking at all the games. Uh, let's see. Uh, the last Ghost Recon game sucked, but that was a little while ago. X Defiant was fun. That was technically linear. You know, Far Cry 6 was mediocre. For Honor was great, but that was like 10 years ago. This freaking point. Um, I'm just looking at all the games. I forgot Oddballers existed. What, what was that one Rollerblade? Roller Champions. There you go. Remember that game? Did that get shut down yet? That has to be shut down, right? Um, no, it says it is on a Medic on a Wikipedia. No, it's still it's still alive, I guess. Okay, huh? Well, shout outs because I always thought that was a fun concept. I, I was just like, "Yo, give me like uh, the motor ball from Lita Battle Angel in, in game form," and that's pretty much what that was. And that was a long intro. I don't care. Play. <laughs> I was counting down in my mind. Whoa, that grass looks pretty good. I wonder how many uh, uh, Assassin's Creed trailers started off with someone running and then killing someone with the hidden blades. Yep, it sure is a it sure is a thing. I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, I don't want I don't want to be, keep being that guy, but like Ghost of Tsushima just came out four years ago, and it does look more impressive. But this will probably have a bigger world, I would assume. It's cool that they have little environmental details like that, snow on his suit and stuff, changing weather's cool, water, grass, voids. Changing weather. I really hope this game's immersive. I like they showed those guys. Because you know every time you're in the, the villages, that's all they'll be doing is like looking at their sword and stuff. That's okay. Reminds me of the meditation. Uh, stuff from uh, Ghost of Tsushima. I 
Alright, not bad, not bad trailer showing off the world. Problem is, even though it does look good, I just should, I just expect it to be another Ubisoft world where it's just a bunch of markers on the map. And I'm, there might be some hidden things, but uh, I'm not going to expect it to be... Wait, is this a new trailer? Or is that just Crunchyroll being late like they usually are? Um... Yeah, I mean, it's, it, again, it's a fine trailer. Of course, there's a ton of dislikes, but um, I like to see what people are saying. Now, of course, doing the jump. Wait, what? Wait, what? What horse? This one right here? What is it doing? Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, a lot of games have that issue where it's just like, the animation does not match the movement, like how how much the character progresses. So it looks like they're sliding. That happens a lot. Unfortunately, they showed that in the trailer. <laughs> hey, you know I'll give them credit. They showed it in the trailer, so this is probably real, right? Because if it was bullshit, like a lot of Ubisoft's older games, then uh, I would like to see certain. Like I want to see their Avatar game and compare it to what it looks like when it first came out. Compared to when they first showed it, you know what I mean? Like game. To be fair, that game they showed only a few months earlier. Um, I want to see Star Wars Outlaws because they showed that game like two years ago. I want to see the first time they showed that gameplay compared to what it looks like now. I want to see like the differences because I, 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 I truly believe Ubisoft doesn't do that anymore to the extent they used to, where they showed the game and it looks amazing. Then the game comes out and it looks like you know it looks fine. I guess it's a huge downgrade though. But I still want to say it happens here and there. Where they used to do it all the time. Now it might happen just here and there. Like Prince of Persia, I'm sure, looked the same. I mean, that wasn't like blowing anybody's mind graphically, I don't think. Uh, I had a lot of style to it, though, I will say. Anyway. So there you go. That's it. I mean, I don't I don't know. I'm not. I'm probably not going to get this game. I just. Uh, unless it gets like fucking insane reviews, I just don't have the time for it. November is huge. October is more huge, and I'll be playing shit from that month all throughout the rest of the year i know that um but november's looking kind of quiet there's a couple of uh, big games but for the most part it's not as huge as uh, october and i just rather spend my time playing games i want to play and i just i feel like with assassin's creed it becomes a chore you know and sh i haven't played a game as assassin's creed in so long you know and i still feel like it's a chore you know uh. I started feeling that way back in, when Syndicate came out. I was like, this is feeling like it's just like busy work. And I'm just, I'm done. I'd rather have a streamlined experience nowadays. And I like open worlds. Just give me an open world that's like fucking awesome to explore, you know? But, yeah. Anyway, that's it. Bye.